All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a bunch of different numbers and exactly what this means for the low income, as well as the fixed income beneficiaries I often talk about right here on the channel, including, but not limited to, Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivor, Spousal, SSI, VA, RRB, Low Income, No Income, Seniors, Older Adults, and of course, People with Disabilities. I wanna bring these numbers to you so you can see exactly what is going on right now because a lot of the announcements and the people that are coming out talking about this right now it's maybe a little bit misleading but i want to give you the information so you can clearly see what is going on here and how this is impacting all of us in a major way so with that being said let's get into it and discuss what's going on here however really fast before we do thanks so much for joining me if you have not done so yet please make sure to like the video and share this video with those buttons right down below the video i really do appreciate it thank you so much also please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well totally free to do so with the big subscribe button right down below as well thank you so much really really appreciate your support and let's get into it and talk about it. All right, so just a few days ago, we got the all-important inflation data for the previous month. Now, I have talked about this a little bit in previous videos, but I have not brought you uh, the numbers as far as the extent of what the report is now showing. Now, here's the thing. When we look at the headline numbers, as I've said before in other videos and the live stream that I hosted the other day talking about this as well, I said the headline number can be a little bit misleading because you look at the headline and think, oh, wow, it actually went down and uh, everything's improved right well I also said in that live stream as well is you got to dig into the report to actually look at the details behind it because yes maybe headline came down but if we actually look at the real numbers behind it the things that we're all spending our money on um, like the necessities are still going up what's actually funny about this uh, <laughs> quick little side note Biden was also out that same day and he said prices are coming down on cars appliances and airfare okay Thanks. Um, who's buying a car? Um, have you bought a new drying uh, drying machine or a new refrigerator lately? Um, have you bought any airline tickets lately? I don't really think anybody cares. I mean, these are things that like nobody is buying. I mean, maybe a, a very small percentage of our population, but for the low income and fixed income, I'm guessing most of us are not all buying refrigerators every weekend, buying a car every other week or booking airfare every week. I highly, highly doubt that, right? So who really cares if prices are coming down on these things, right? Let's look at the big picture and look at the things that we're all buying on a regular basis, like, gee, I don't know, the necessities like food and shelter and health care and senior care, things like this, right? That's what I want to talk about, which by the way, I have a whole list of percentages as long as my arm that I'm going to share with you here in this video, okay? Okay, maybe not as long as my arm, but <laughs> you get my point, okay? <laughs> I have a lot of percentages here. Um, but anyway, so I dug through the report as I always like to do for you, and I want to break it down for you. So, in the live stream the other day, I said, you know what, I'm going to make you a dedicated video. And this is the dedicated video because I want to break this down so you can see what's really going on. Because like I said, it can be very, very misleading with all these people out there who really don't know what they're talking about saying, oh, prices are coming down. And then you look at the real report and you say, no, actually, they're not. OK. All right. So let me rattle off a whole bunch of uh, numbers here. And again, you'll clearly see what's going on. OK. Which, by the way, um, right now, you know, obviously it's looking like, you know, possibly inflation's coming down and, you know, the cola may be a Adjusted, but here's the thing this year how much of a cola did we get 3.2 percent okay you know that right we already got the 3.2 percent cola at the beginning of the year that was a long long time ago but let me give you some numbers now okay all right now this is just a one-year time frame so just the 12 months of time is what i'm going to give you right now and then in just a second here i'm going to give you a longer time frame as well three and a half years so we can see what's been going on with prices over that amount of time as well so get this just in the last one year alone food prices are up 2.2 percent so we might think oh that's not too bad right we're at, we got a 3.2 percent cola we're ahead by one percent well, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me share with you some more numbers here. Over that same 12 month period of time, shelter prices are up 5.4%. Hospital care is up 7.4%. Senior care is up 11.6%. So yeah, there you go. Kiss that 3.2% cola, long goodbyes because um, that thing got eaten up months and months and months ago because of all these high prices. So food was the lowest one there just over the last 12 month period of time, okay? Now let's rewind all the way back to January of 2021. So that's about three and a half years ago uh, is this time frame now. Now, let me give you some more percentages. And again, there's a whole long list here. I'm only going to rattle off a couple because there's tons and tons of them. Take your pick and they're up uh, significantly. But let me give you a few here to look at. OK, all right. So get this 
Food prices are up how much? 21.5% in the last three and a half years, okay, since January 2021. Shelter prices, how much you want to guess there, right? I'll tell you, 21.9% is how much shelter prices are up during that same time frame. Energy prices. Energy prices could be electricity and gas, ranging between 28 and 38 percent just in the last three and a half years. Do you want me to keep going or <laughs> have you had enough yet? <laughs> you get my point here, okay? So what we continue to look at is that, um, but wait, okay, this is like massive price increases. They don't really tell us this stuff, but yet how much of an increase to the colas have we received during the same amount of time? I'll tell you, 17.8%, okay? So no matter what you look at here, um, we are way, way behind by like anywhere between as low as call it about 4% on the low end of the scale is what we're behind to anywhere to about 20%, 21% on the high end of the scale. Okay. So literally the colas should have been practically double. I mean, seriously, that's probably what they should have been considering where we're at here. A minimum, the colas should have been about 4% more. That's the absolute minimum how much more the COLA should have been. And again, I think a lot of us could probably say, um, yeah, probably more like 100% more, right? Doubled is what they're talking about. So just wanted to bring this to your attention so we can clearly see what is going on here. And again, I highly, highly doubt your local news is out there telling you this. I can tell you this much. There's other people out there who act like they know, you know, what they're talking about, claiming that uh, all these things are, you know, going down in price. But really, if you look at the real report here, and you dig into the numbers here, you can clearly see what's happening. And again, who cares what's happening with appliance prices? I couldn't, I mean, maybe you care. I, I don't really care what's going on with the price of a washing machine, a dryer, a refrigerator, a dishwasher. I mean, seriously, do we really care all that much? I'm Maybe you do, but I certainly don't. I want to know what's going on with shelter prices, with food prices, with healthcare costs, things like this that we're all spending our money on every single uh, day and week and month, things like this, right? Which I'll, by the way, as well, get this. Guess how much egg prices are up just in the last three and a half years? <laughs> I don't think you're going to guess this price. Maybe you will. 85%, okay? Egg prices are up 85% over the last three and a half years. So that they've practically, they've almost doubled in price in the last three and a half years. That is nuts. Now, don't get me wrong. Eggs are relatively cheap, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter whatsoever. It's the fact that they've gone up 85%. That's the point that we want to look at, right? I mean, historically, eggs are typically very, very inexpensive for many years. I mean, for how many years could you buy a dozen eggs for like, 89 cents, 99 cents, a dollar nine, you know, dollar 29, something very inexpensively for a very long time. So, and what they're saying now, according to these reports, is that the average dozen, or the average price for a dozen of eggs now is about 279 across the entire country. So, again, that's averaged out. Obviously, some places may be a little cheaper, some places are more expensive, but averaged out, that's what it comes down to for a dozen eggs. So, yeah, there you go. Again, I wanted to bring this to your attention so you can see this. And again, uh, it's very easy to look at the headline like this and hear the people that we look to and think like, oh, they're the official, they're the authority on this, and they know what's going on. Uh, no, they're just trying to read a teleprompter and um, probably struggling at that even, right? Uh, my point is, you, you got to look at the report here. That's why I like to dig through it and bring you the reports and the details of it so we can clearly see what is happening and not just taking some clown's word for it as far as what's actually happening here, okay? Make sense? Anyway, I hope this helps you uh, understand what's going on here and um, gives you a better perspective, but I don't think this is um, like breaking news to anybody. I, I don't think this is like some shocking announcement. I think we all recognize this is not like some mystery like, oh, wait, I, I guess I didn't realize that food prices are up 21 and a half percent over the last three and a half years. Gee, I didn't know. I didn't notice that all my money has been siphoned away <laughs> for the same old groceries. I, I guess I didn't notice that. Right. I don't think that's the case for any of us. Right. I think we're all very, very aware of what is happening here. And uh just so want to bring that to your attention. So anyway, as always, please leave your comments, your questions, your, your feedback down below. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel down below. Again, thank you so much. Also, make sure to check out the other videos around the channel, the thousands in the video library, the ones I've hand selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section. And right now, popping up your screen as well. You'll see some videos there. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Take your selection now and um, I'll catch you later in the next video. I just want to keep you posted on what's going on. I want to bring it to you straight, give you honest, accurate, reliable, transparent information like I always say I'm going to. And um, yeah, this is pretty important stuff to know. I, I feel that it's important anyway.